recently announced results from the world's largest particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, hint at the possible existence of a new force in nature. The best theory we have to explain how nature works at the subatomic level is known as the standard model. This includes fundamental particles such as the electron, various types of quark, and particles that carry basic forces, like electromagnetism. The standard model has served physicists well for many years, but we know that it isn't complete. There are important things in nature such as dark matter, dark energy, and how gravity works on a subatomic scale which the standard model can't explain. The Large Hadron Collider underneath the French Swiss border near Geneva smashes together beams of protons after they've been accelerated to enormous speeds and energies around a 27 km long tunnel. It was built with two objectives in mind to find the long-predicted Higgs boson and detect the first signs of physics beyond the standard model. The discovery of the Higgs boson was confirmed in 2012 and now, it's just possible, scientists are on the brink of a breakthrough into a new realm of physics. One of the main experiments at the Large Hadron Collider, the LHCb, is designed to learn more about particles called beauty quarks, also known as bottom quarks. These are very short-lived and quickly decay into electrons and another type of particle called muons. According to the standard model, the decay of beauty quarks should give equal numbers of electrons and muons, but that's not what scientists on the LHCb experiment are seeing. They're finding that the decay of beauty quarks produces more electrons than muons. One way to explain the results is if a previously undiscovered particle known to theorists as the leptoquark is involved. If the leptoquark exists, it would be outside the standard model and mean that there was another type of force in nature, a completely new way in which subatomic particles can interact. But these scientists involved in the experiment are being cautious. Their latest results come after sifting through mountains of data collected from the LHCb between 2012 and 2018. The more data they've looked at, the stronger the anomalous signal has become. Particle physicists measure the odds that their results might be due purely to chance using a quantity called sigma. The higher the sigma value, the greater the confidence they have that what they've measured isn't just a statistical fluke. What scientists aim for in particle physics experiments is a level of 5 sigma. If they achieve that, it means there's only one chance in 3.5 million that their results are down to coincidence. At the moment, the signal from the LHCb experiment on beauty quarks stands at 3.1 sigma, although it's been steadily rising since it was first detected several years ago. 3.1 sigma equates roughly to a 1 in a thousand chance that the results aren't real. Those would be pretty good odds in everyday life, but the scientists involved, although they're obviously excited, are remaining cautious. The Large Hadron Collider has been shut down since 2018 for a major upgrade and will begin running again later this year, 2021. All eyes will be on the new data that's collected and whether it shows we really are on the brink of a revolution in physics.